I'll go and put up the answers to the other one for you. Thank you. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have our domain. You guys can see, though, it is a continuous function, but the domain is restricted, right? There is no value negative 2 that's in our domain. But negative 1.4 to 1.4 is going to be our restricted domain. Also, you can see the range. Basically, how low does the graph go? How high does it go? But it's restricted between 0. And you can see this point is negative 1, basically 1. So it's from 0 to 1. Uh, for number 3, which was the symmetry, uh, my graph right here is not the best. But you guys can see this has symmetry of the x-axis. I'm sorry, not the x-axis. Symmetry of the y-axis. Uh, number four, increasing, decreasing intervals. Again, guys, when we're talking about increasing, decreasing intervals, we're talking about the x values. And that's why I want to go over just one more instruction to remind you guys. It's the x values that we're talking about. So when we're looking for increasing values, we're saying, what x values is the graph increasing? Well, that's from negative 1.4 to negative 1.1. Right? You guys agree? From here to here. The graph is increasing. It's also increasing between 0 and 1.1. The graph is decreasing. I'm just going to put that up here. You guys can see the graph is going down, or the height is going down, from 0, or negative 1.1, to 0, as well as, when people aren't talking, from 1.1 to 1.4 because I definitely don't want people to get this wrong on a test or quiz. Right? So we want to make sure we're all good. Number five is going to be the max and the mins. You guys can see we have two maximum points. And you could say we have kind of three minimum points. Right? So um, both of those are all absolutes. So we could say the absolute max are our points uh, negative 1.1, 1.1, 1 .1, 1 .1, or 1, negative 1.1 and 1 as well as 1.1 and 1. And then our absolute min is going to be negative 1.4 comma 0, 0 comma 0, and uh, what is that, 1.4 and 0? Sorry, it's kind of writing it down a little low. But there's, you can have multiple absolute max and mins. That's possible. Um, the end behavior. Does, is this graph continually going any, in any direction? If we were to keep on zooming out, would anything be happening? No. So there's actually no end behavior. Uh, for number seven, is it bounded above or below? So is there a minimum value? Does it have an absolute min? Does it have an absolute max? Yes. Yeah, so it's bounded above and below, so we just call that bounded. Uh, number eight, is it even, odd, or neither? Since it's symmetric about the y-axis, it's even. Number nine, does it have x-intercepts? Yep, it has three of them. So we could say the x-intercepts are when x equals negative 1.4, 0, and 1.4. You could see all the points where it crosses. And does it graph cross the y-axis? Yep, at y equals 0. OK? So just to 